Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Spin your face. No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He knows why. Come, boy. Right behind you. Now put my lips to the horn. That you made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them, or they will anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No, our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lad. 
lads, he remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Boat under the bridge. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, 
but her genius at the very Vanier magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. You want us to collect... Gulvig's sather map. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Boy. <laughs> They've taken three of three <laughs> Gulvig's bones and <laughs> spread... <laughs> Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out Look while if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him. Or well, the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. 
Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Very giant. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Brother, look at that crystal's brimming again. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. that chisel. That's the magic we need. Enemies. What do we do?
increase that. That's handy. I like crystal base, but where's the crystal? How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something that that fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? <laughs> Boy, Armor really liked jewelry, didn't he? he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think <laughs> he looks dashing. <laughs> For a snow covered corpse. Right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking.
Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Huh. What now? Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good.
are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Oh no! The floor's collapsed! There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? 